Hello, welcome back to the Bridgeport Diaries. I thought I'd start the video with something different instead of the picture of the machine. And what I've done today is I've written a program that I'm just about to test which should uh, face cut the timing cover. So this is the timing cover that goes on the side of the engine. It will go uh, just on the front there. If you can just about see that's the shape of the timing cover there. What I want to do is make sure that this is absolutely flat and milled. So I've written a quick program that will run this fly cutter over this surface which I've got as level as it can be with the, with the clamps on the machine. I'm testing it so I've not got the auto start on the spindle but what I have done is I've done everything else. So when I start the program Obviously this will be running a little bit slower when it's cutting because I don't want to be cutting it at this feed rate. I just want to make sure that the tool clears this centre boss because I don't want to take any height off that boss. But at the same time, I do want to make sure that I'm, I'm covering all of this surface here. Which should be quite easy because the tool's enormous. You can hardly miss it. It's hardly a precise uh, program at this stage. So. I'm going to cover everything, I'm not going to clout these here as I come past, which is important. I'm going to make sure we get right over to the other side there, absolutely no problem. And then on the return path, I just want to make sure that again the tool isn't going to take anything off this centre boss because this does need to be proud of the mating surface. So I'm well inside there, well inside, I'm going to make sure that I cut absolutely everything off when I do a skim of this piece. And the last thing I want to do is to exit the cutting tool away from the job before I raise it. Make sure that that has come all the way off the end of the job. And the reason that I'm coming off the job before I raise it is that's gonna leave potentially a very small line across here. And I could have done that at anywhere around this point, but if there is a small line here, that, that's given as a potential for an oil leak. And that line, in the engine is going to be across there so there's less less chance of oil leaking from here if there's any problem than say if that line was across here because the oil levels down here and this would be a lot wetter than at the top so i think that's good good to go all i've got to do now is change the g-code to slow down the feed rate and we'll take a cut <laughs> 